soulmate for your first card. Then we have hammer, second card. And then third card we got is wedding ring. So there be there could be a soulmate connection with someone. You may be in a relationship with somebody, Leo, or it could be a situation ship. It don't have to be. But I'm getting this energy where this relationship has ended or situation ship. It has ended, Leo. Some of you guys could be married to this person. I'm also getting this energy where if you were dealing with this person, maybe somebody had to end the relationship because they was married to another individual. But let's dive deeper in this situation. Some of y'all was married. Some of y'all's person was married to somebody else. It's either that they ended up ended it with you to, to stay in their marriage or you haven't ended it with them because you found out they were married. So let's keep it, let's keep it moving. Clarify soulmates, hammer, and wedding spirit. Some of y'all this person decided to get with you. If you are, was never fully in a full-blown connection with this person, you was like the mistress or the side piece in the situation, maybe they decided to get with you and end their marriage with the other person. And roles can be reversed. So if this is not you, it can be them. Just flip-flop the energy if you have to. But we got Epiphany with Soulmates. We got Hopeful. And then we got Math. Yeah, somebody definitely been doing some self-reflection in this situation. Because some of y'all may be hoping that this person in the connection with somebody. But I am getting this energy that somebody is ending it, but they hope that you know what I'm seeing? Some of y'all this person trying to keep you a secret. Because it's like this person knows that you want them, Leo. But I feel like they try to keep you a secret. Because we got Epiphany, we got Hopeful, and then we got Mask. You see what I'm saying? It's like you knew that you wanted to be with this person and or whatever, right? But they're trying to be deceptive about it. They're trying to hide the simple fact that they are dealing with you, Leo. Somebody is trying to hide you. Or somebody trying to hide the um, significant lover. Their um their their wife behind the scenes while they're dealing with you. But something definitely is um is up. Okay, so let's keep it moving. Yup, I knew it. We got love affair right here. Dirty little secrets, sex, sex fix, down low. Yes, your person tried to keep y'all on the down low, Leo. But I am getting this energy. There will be some form of an ending. Whether this is the ending between you and them. Or whether this is the ending between their partner and them. But let's keep it moving. What else do we have, Spirit? Clarify, Epiphany, Hopeful, and Mass, please. We got the full reverse. Yeah, but you're you're not going for it. We got the full reverse. Some of y'all going to end up blocking them. Eight of Wands reversed. Some of y'all going to end up blocking this person. Because maybe you find out that this person been, you know, maybe they, somebody gave you an empty promise. Some of you guys, this person may have fed you empty promises. And maybe you found out this person was married or you found this person was in another connection with somebody else. But um, it's, 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 it's this energy where you could be questioning your situation or relationship or just where you stand with this person and all. You see what I'm saying? Because you feel like this person is trying to hide you. A lot of y'all feel this way, or you just know. But you will be not, you will not be taken for a fool at all. You will not be taken for a fool at all. Now, some of y'all this person may have blocked you. And that could be why you question where y'all stand in this situation or in this relationship because they blocked you. Maybe they take a very long time to reply to your phone calls and your text messages, Leo. It's like they're trying to avoid confrontation. They're trying to avoid communicating with you. That's what I'm getting. I feel like your person probably blocked you or they just take a long time to reply to your phone calls and your text messages. And I'm telling you, it's having to do with you avoiding questioning them. Because like I said, they keeping 
a secret. Your person is married to somebody. And they're hiding the simple fact that they're married to somebody. Like I said, some of y'all could be the married couple with this person. And maybe they're hiding you, even though you are married. You see what I'm saying? It could flip-flop if y'all, if the energy makes sense with you. But just take what role you play in, Leo. But I'm telling you, somebody is trying to hide a connection. Either way, married or not. Somebody is trying to hide a connection. Okay, let's pull some more of these cards. But I strongly feel like this is somebody that takes a long time. Most of y'all are the person on the outside of the situation. This person takes a long time to like reply to your text message, your phone calls. Some of you guys maybe even blocked you. Um, I'm here on and off. Maybe you feel like this person has been blocking you on and off, Leo. I don't know why I just heard on and off. But I'm getting unblock, block, unblock, block, or just delays in communication. It's all because of confrontation. They're avoiding any type of like confrontation, you know, from telling you the truth about some things. And I feel like you want answers because maybe this person does make you happy. You know, but um Let's keep it moving. Clarify the full reverse, the eight of wands reverse, and the knight of swords reverse. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. These cards don't want to say something. They definitely keeping a secret if they it ain't trying to pop out. Look, wow. And you know what's crazy? I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. Like literally, like the sex is good. You in love with this person. There's a heart with a fire in it. Well, fire a fire around it. But it's telling me that some of y'all could be either thinking about walking away because they, like I said, they ain't replying or, or any of that to your phone calls or your text messages or they keep blocking you, unblocking you, whatever the case may be. Um, but at the same time, you do desire and you do love this person. I'm seeing both energy because some of y'all thinking about walking away. It's like you're trying to remain optimistic about dealing with this person, but you feel like you're hiding something. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad to say because you just don't want to be played, you know, with the full reverse. You just don't want to be taken for a fool, you know? And at the same time, it's like, dang, I do love this person. You know, we have good chemistry together. The sex is bomb. You know, there is some form of a, you know, thing going on between y'all, right? Wow, y'all have got wrapped up in love with this person. A lot of y'all fell in love with this person. Y'all have grown some form of addiction to this person's love. You know what I'm saying? And their sex is good. Like I said, I feel like it's both. Now, like I said, reverse the energy if you have to. Because if it ain't you, this is how they feel about you, Leo. But yes, I strongly, especially if you know you are the one that's like delaying calls and messages. Like somebody calling you and texting you and you ignoring them or you have them blocked. And then sometimes you block them and unblock them. This could be you, you know, like I said, you know where you stand at in this situation. But yes, somebody had fell in love with the other person and they have gained some form of addiction towards them, you know. Ooh, wrong way. But we got cassette. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys, um, maybe you just feel like you cannot get this person out of your head, Leo. Like I said, the desire is there, the passion of this person is there, the love is there. There is some form of attachment between y'all. And you cannot stop thinking about that situation itself. How this person has you so wrapped up into them. Or you just cannot stop thinking about them. Or it can be both. I'm getting both for some of y'all. Okay, what else do we have, Spirit, in this situation? Because I strongly feel like y'all have got caught up you know, with this person to the point where you have fell deeply in love with this person. And at the same time, it's like this person is not replying to your phone calls or your text messages or whatever, or they're not getting back to you like they say they do. You know, some of y'all even think y'all being blocked at times. But, and, and I, don't, I don't blame y'all for questioning where you stand with this person because they act in distant. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person is trying to avoid from telling you something with the knight of swords reverse because they don't want an argument with you they don't want to fuss they don't want to fight with you because they know once they tell once they, they they know once they pop back up or whatever reach out you you're going to be questioning their whereabouts you see what i'm saying we got the emperor reversed just sideways 
Yeah, I feel like at this point something is, is, is out of somebody's control, but they are quite pissed off behind the situation. Let's came right back out. We got the lovers. Wow. Yep. This is somebody that has an attachment to two people. Because lovers can also mean choices. Yes, it may be one person that they're intimate with. They, they you know, get in. Like, I'm telling you, somebody's addicted to the sex that y'all have. Maybe this could be you, Leo. Maybe you are somebody have grown very attached to dealing with this person. And you don't even have to be sex. It could just be being a, around this person in general. Some form of attachment there between y'all. Some Maybe some love making or something. Maybe some just spending time with each other. Quality time with each other. You know, kissing, touching. I don't know. Whatever you call intimacy, right? I don't know what y'all was doing. But yes, I feel like somebody is feeling like the situation is out of their control because they have grown to be very close to this person and they love this person. We got the seven of cups. But I feel like this person is holding on to another individual. It's telling me that. Somebody is holding on to another individual. And maybe you do think about, you know, the options that they have, the choices that they have. Or maybe you could be thinking about whether this person chose you. But let's dive deeper in this situation. So don't get it twisted. Somebody is thinking about the other person. Somebody is definitely in a vulnerable state right now. This could be you. It could be them. You know, and they do, somebody do want to come back. But... It's not being reciprocated. It's not. I feel like the love is really not reciprocated. It may be a one-sided connection. I'm going to be real with y'all. Some of y'all was love bombed. Some of you guys were love bombed. Or maybe you the one that did the love bombing to somebody. And you gave them some good sex. Some good chemistry. And they may have grown to be very attached to you in the way, Leo. But <clears throat> I feel like somebody is definitely in a vulnerable state. And they wanted the other person to come back. But... Let's keep it moving and see what else is taking place. Because like I said, somebody is upset because they feel like <clears throat> the chemistry, like the, their, the love that they have for that person, the flame that is there for that person, the passion that they have, the desire that they have for that person is out of control. That's what I'm picking up on when I look at passion in the emperor reverse. I feel like it's out of their control. It's like they cannot help themselves or a simple fact that they love this person. And it can be you, Leo, you know, but this is some, some type of... um attachment to this person like i feel like it has grown to be some form of addiction in a way you see what i'm saying to to being around the other person and somebody just cannot stop thinking about you know the situation itself that happened between y'all or you just cannot stop thinking about them but somebody is in their head about what they should do about this situation you know what i'm saying some of y'all could just be thinking about the options that they may have besides you you know, because you some of y'all don't know what to think. Maybe you just don't know if this person married or in a relationship. Maybe you just don't know if they have multiple people. It could be you. But it's telling me that somebody is holding on to more than one person. Because I look at addiction and the lovers. I look at that somebody got more, more than one partners that they could be tied to, Leo. And even if they are married to somebody, they do have more than one person. More than one person tied to them. You see what I'm saying? Because we got the lovers and the seven of cups. The seven of cups also means having other options. So I feel like this person has more than one option. But it also means illusion. So somebody could like feel like have some form of addiction to the other person of being together with this person, but it stop it can't stop thinking about them. But I feel like somebody in illusion. Some of y'all, wow. Some of y'all are dealing with a narcissist. Some of y'all dealing with a narcissist. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Feminine energy. They love bombed you. And um we got feminine energy, and then we got envy. What? This energy. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's telling me, Leo, that, yes, you do love this person, but you feel like it's out of your control right now. And it is. it does have you upset about it. Because some of y'all had a narcissist that walked away from you. Like, literally. They may have love bombed you. And... And I feel like you really cared about this person. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all could be pregnant about this person. 
I don't know why I'm just getting this energy that somebody is addicted to somebody's sex. Somebody pregnant. Y'all could be pregnant by this person. Or there could be a person in the background that they also could be dealing with that could be pregnant. Y'all take what resonate. But um, it could be a man or a woman. Maybe there could be a narcissist that could be pregnant. I ain't trying to call you a narcissist, but like I said, y'all pick a side, pick a role you may play in. But I just felt like y'all could be holding some form of resentment towards this person. Y'all could be mad. More than y'all, most most likely this is y'all energy saying that you really cared about this person, but you started to resent them. You see what I'm saying? You starting to be you starting to really be mad at this person. You know, because this situation got you feeling totally out of zinc, like very uncomfortable with yourself, you know, because this is somebody that quite love bombed you to death. They did, you know, and this person went their separate ways, Leo. They turned their back on you because they have somebody else. Like I said, some of y'all could be pregnant by this person. The rest of y'all, they may have somebody else pregnant or it could also be saying they're with another woman or another man, or it can also be saying that. This person is with a baby mom or baby dad. Y'all can take it how y'all sit, you know, see fit. But I still like I feel like them going in separate ways and you caring about them at one point in time and fell in love with this person. Y'all thought y'all was going somewhere. It really does got you upset. Cause some of y'all person probably did give you an empty promise. Not everybody. But I feel like they're doing a lot of they got a lot of secrets and they're avoiding you right now, Leo. This is somebody that does this a lot because we got cassette outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. I just feel like this is somebody that does this all the time. You know what I'm saying? And you just happen to be caught up in the web. I'm here of lies and deceit. That's exactly what I just heard. And um, as being one of those options that they decided to choose from. Like I said, it got you in, it got you feeling very resentful towards this person. You know what I'm saying? Because I just felt like it, it was wrong. Look, options. I knew it. Lovers twice. Your person have multiple options. A lot of soul ties running around here. Like, literally. Like I said, you could just be one of the options that got caught up into the little web of lies and deceit. You know what I'm saying? And you may have fell in love with this person. Yes, yeah, it's telling me the person, the narcissist that you're dealing with, if you are dealing with a narcissist, everybody is not dealing with one. Y'all take what resonate. You know, they have multiple attachments to other people. So it's telling me you're not the only one. You was just love, love bombed to death. And it, and, it, and it pisses you off, to be honest. Some of you guys, this person could be in another relationship. Some of y'all, this person definitely could be in another relationship. They holding on to another relationship. Like I said, even if they are married to somebody, just believe that they have multiple people besides y'all two, besides the person they married to and besides you. Your person has multiple people. It's just that their attachment, where they really live at, is with, with the main chick, which is probably the ch child's mother or child's father of their kids, um, or which is the beautiful woman that they're dealing with. I don't know. I'm just hearing that. But it is telling me that somebody could be in a relationship with an older woman or you could be, I mean, younger woman, or you could be the younger woman that they love bomb. Some of you guys could be a little bit younger than this person. Um, I'm seeing 15, 20 years, whether this is 15 and 20 or 15, 20 years age gap between y'all don't have to be. Um, or it could be a five year age gap between y'all. It don't even have to be all of that, but Maybe somebody could have a 15-year-old or a 20-year-old. So expect this person to reach out. Or this could be you ended up reaching out, Leo. Because, like I said, the situation is starting to leave you really mad. And feeling very uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Because you feel left out. You feel left out in the dark, in the cold, you know? But somebody's going to reach out to the other person again. It could be you or it could be them. But we about to dive deeper and see what else is happening. What else is happening, Spirit, in this situation? Okay, y'all hold that thought. Don't click off yet. I got some more for y'all. What else do we have? Okay, it's the second one. We're going to take this one first. We got the Six of Cups reversed. Six of Swords reversed. Maybe somebody got six kids. I'm seeing sixes. Maybe somebody could be seeing sixes. Or somebody could be 66. Don't have to be. Wow. We got the lovers again. We got the lovers three 
times. This person is a heavy player. Probably got like six people. Or maybe even three. Like I said, there is some form of entanglement, Leo, with this person. I'm just keep hearing caught up in the web of lies and deceit. Like, literally. Okay, so it's telling me that somebody is not ready to reconcile. So if you were the one that took the initiative in this situation after not hearing from them before, you could have been the one that reached out to see where you stand at. But obviously, this person was not trying to reconcile. But it is leaving somebody to be very, you know, finding it very hard to move on mentally and be at peace. Yeah, I don't blame y'all. Y'all may not be feeling right because they ain't a, they ain't in another connection. And it's you. You thought this person really did love you. Some of you guys thought this person really did love you. Let's dive deeper. Let's dive deeper. You know what? These are the ones right here I'm going to use. I don't think I use these ones. Okay. Let's keep hitting. Wow. The lovers again. How many lovers we got in the spread? One, two, three, four. This person is wow. Whoever this is, they got to have a lot of lovers. They got to have multiple lovers, even though they're in a relationship with somebody else. But I'm, I'm not going to lie. Somebody is like not wanting to reconcile. They're not. They made their mind up. We got the six of cups reversed and the lovers. Some of y'all person probably did this to you or maybe you did this to them. But somebody is not missing another person. I'm just being real with y'all. I'm getting this energy where somebody is just don't, they want to reconcile. But I feel like it's only to avoid conflict and confrontation. You see what I'm saying? It's like they purposely don't want to come back. They made their mind up. There was a choice. The lovers reversed. It means that they picked somebody. They made this, or it can just mean that they made a decision to keep to themselves. But like I said, somebody is finding it very difficult to mentally move on. And they could be grieving over this. Yes. Some of y'all deal with some dealt with somebody that did this to you. Literally. Literally did all of this. Avoiding you. Don't have nothing to say to you. Like no matter how many times you reach out to them, it's like they don't want to reconcile. They don't got nothing to say. You know, this situation has left you in a lot of grief. Or you may left somebody in a lot of grief. But we got the nine of pentacles. That means somebody coming in to save the day. So I just tell, I'm, I'm getting this energy where some of y'all could be hurt because maybe you are committed to this person. Like I said, some of y'all could be engaged to this person. Maybe you could be grieving because this person could be engaged to you and they could be married to another individual and you did not know that and they left you. Some of you guys. Some of you guys' person could be married to another individual and you could be engaged. And if not, it could be saying that you could be hurt because they may be in another commitment with somebody else. You see what I'm saying? Because the Knight of Pentacles can also mean a commitment. But I feel like it's going to take this person a long time to come back. Some of y'all's person going to end up coming back. While, you, while they're avoiding you, it's like in your grieving state, your person going to end up popping back up. But they're going to take a minute because nights are slow-moving energy. You see what I'm saying? So... Let's dive deeper and see what else is taking place. What else, Spirit? That's crazy. I feel like they have been avoiding you for a very long time, Leo. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. I just feel like this person just been avoiding you, avoiding confrontation, avoiding... Some of you guys' person could have reached out to you at one point in time and told you they loved you, but at the same time, they didn't want to reconcile. They didn't want to be around you. I'm getting that also. So if this wasn't you that reached out, Leo... I feel like your person could have eventually reached out to you and told you that they loved you and they, want, they wasn't ready to reconcile with you. But then again, it's like it left you in heartbreak. Either way, they, it left you in heartbreak. I'm saying two ways it could have went. It's either you ended up reaching out for the second or third time, um, Leo, and they still was avoiding you. Or they could have reached out to you to tell you that they love you, blase, blase, blase. But I don't know. I'm seeing two different ways this could have went. So y'all just take what resonates. I'm going to take it. Wow. Heartbreak. Somebody's in heartbreak. Three of Swords. Somebody made a decision. Oh, wow. Some of y'all, they couldn't have told you that they love somebody else. Now, if they didn't reach out to you or you reached out to them, whoever reached out to who, maybe they told you that they loved the other person and that they was committed elsewhere. Um, Leo. I don't know. This energy is all over the place. So y'all just take what side you may be on. So some of y'all was engaged to this person or currently still is. And they may be in a whole other commi commi commitment with somebody else. Um, the rest of you guys, you thought that y'all was official. But they may have left you. 
Wow, you didn't see it coming. We got the two of swords. There's some form of heartbreak. So they're not telling you they're going to eventually come back, but they're coming back as nice. So nice is all about flighty energy, like in and out energy. They're not serious with you, whoever this is. It's like they come in and act like they're sorry and, you know, they want something serious with you. They be telling you, I want to be with you. We are together, blase, blase, but they ain't doing nothing to believe you in heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all still could be hurt. Some of y'all person may come back and apologize to you or with an explanation or they may try to give you a gift to make up, you know, the loss. Because some of y'all that is the case. Some of y'all person could be gifting you something. Like, literally. Some of y'all person may come in with a ring and some flowers. Or maybe, like I said, maybe you are already engaged to this person and they're trying to make up by giving you a gift. or something. I don't know. I feel like this happened more than once. Some of y'all person been flighty more than one time. I strongly feel like they've just been in and out, back and forth between you and another individual. You know what I'm saying? But there ain't no love there. And I'm just be real with y'all. There ain't no love there. This person is love bombing you to keep you emotionally tied to them. They know you're not okay with the simple fact that they are in another relationship. They know this because we got the Six of Swords reverse. They know you're not okay with that, being in another connection or being an option. You know, they have options. Some of y'all are removing yourself from being an option because you're heartbroken. Yep. You, you, you just need to grieve because you didn't expect this. You didn't see this coming. But it's telling me it's not going to stop this person from coming back. Maybe they finally could be telling you that they love you. I don't know. Most of y'all this person is love bombing you. Some of y'all this person is definitely love bombing you. One more spirit. Clarifying the three of swords, the two of swords. This is all mental, emotional mind games and manipulation. And then we got the five of cups. Look, this is mental energy. This is emotional energy. And we got the nine of cups. They're a love bombing you. The death, to be honest. Look, they're not saying they're going to come in with an explanation or maybe even some flowers or a gift. Trying to apologize, but they're insincere. It says arrogant, rash actions, insincere. This person is insincere. They're not to be taken serious, you know? They're trying to leave you confused. We got puzzled, confused, perplexed, conflicted. They want you stuck on them once again. They, they get a rise out of this. Leaving you shocked, leaving you in this state of mind, not knowing what's really going on, like not knowing what they really, where you really stand with this person. They get a rise out of this. They laughing in your face. They like the simple fact that you're confused. They like the simple fact that you are so wrapped up into them, Leo. They like the simple fact that you are conflicted. And they sit here laughing and thinking it's funny. This is a joker. This, listen, y'all dealing with a joker. That's who y'all dealing with. A straight clown. This person is a clown. They a clown. It is what it is. Okay, let's pull some more and see if we got some confirmation. Right here. Right, come on. What else do we have here? Let's go. Yeah, your person is playing with you. That's all. They playing with you. Like I said, they come in here and love bomb you. Every time you don't hear from them in a long time or they be ignoring you and they finally come in, they come in and gift you something. Then I say they keep gifting you something. It's like they'll sit there and buy you things, but where's the love at? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay to have gifts and stuff, but they're not really like showing you that they care. They're not really showing you that they care about your feelings. They're, I just feel like this is somebody that needs to take your feelings into consideration. You see what I'm saying? Because for real, for real, they're laughing. Because no matter how many times they come in and apologize or try to make it up to you, you still accept it. They love bombing you. Like I said, this person will buy you any and everything, but it's because it's to keep you stuck, puzzled. It's to keep you stuck. What else, there? That's it. Wow. Somebody, didn't I say somebody expecting a child? I said this with that feminine energy right here. Somebody expecting a child. Some of y'all could be pregnant by this person. Some of y'all are pregnant by this individual. There is a blessing coming in. I feel like some a blessing is somebody's expecting. Somebody is expecting a child. And that could be the reason why you could be feeling stuck, Leo. This person did that to trap you. That's why they got you pregnant. That's why they love bombing you to death. They wanted to keep you stuck. That's crazy. It's like they'll sit here and do... Some of y'all already have a child with this person. Maybe you have like a newborn or something. Or a, a toddler. I don't know. 
you know, but that's their way of keeping you around because y'all have a kid together. Some of y'all currently pregnant now. Some of y'all already had the kid, but I don't know. I feel like this person has two people pregnant. I ain't gonna lie that they're going back and forth with and plus the option that they're dealing with. I'm not saying every option is pregnant, but there is at least two people in this whole ent entanglement because I'm seeing at least six, six folks all together. There is at least two people that's pregnant that they are like literally back and forth with. And one of the pregnant people are the one that they live with. And you could just happen to be the other pregnant woman or you could be happen to be just another option. Or you could happen to be just another baby mom or baby dad. Y'all take it right because some of y'all already have kids that's living with this person. Or you can just be a single parent that they're dealing with. But most of y'all have kids with this person too. Or a kid. Yeah, I'm getting this energy where some of y'all's person may pop up, may not pop up until you have that baby shower, I'm hearing. I'm getting, when I look at this, maybe they could be giving you gifts at a baby shower. Some of you guys. Maybe they won't, because like I said, they took a long, they took a long time. This is night. You know what I'm saying? They may not, you were going to be surprised when this person pop up. But I'm hearing you, some, I'm hearing that some of your person may come at a baby shower. Like when you have a baby shower, if you're currently pregnant by this person, that's when they're going to pop up with another gift. This person just, they full of it. I don't know who y'all dealing with. I just keep hearing entanglement of lies and deceit. I just don't understand. Wow, we got poverty. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys may be expecting a child or you have a small child. And maybe you feel like you need to keep them around because you're struggling. Some of you guys, it could be the case. And maybe you feel like you need the support, even though you really don't like to deal with this person for real. You know, or you could be holding resentment towards this person a lot. Because some of y'all are holding a lot of resentment within because of this person. If not, this could be the other person that, that lives with them that's in this energy. Because I don't feel like you're the only one that's mad at them. You know what I'm saying? But um, somebody could be expecting a child and they're struggling at the same time. Or they could have a kid with this person. And they feel like they're struggling with this person. And it's because this is somebody that wanted a kid. I don't know why, Leo, but I feel like... It's the other person. Some of y'all is the other person in this energy. Some of y'all, you know, that's holding a lot of resentment towards this person because they know their person is cheating on them and they got a kid with them and they struggling at the same time and they tired of their BS. So if they're not tired of their BS, you are currently, you are tired of this, this person's BS also because you caught up in the web of lies too. And look, this person is a false person, deceitful. They're hiding people. They're wearing a mask. They switched up on you, Leo, which is leaving you in a lot of despair. Somebody may have lost their job in this situation. There could be some changes in somebody's workplace. Some of y'all, your person going to end up losing their job. So if this is somebody that is back and forth between somebody they live with and you and everybody else, some they're going to end up losing their job. It may not have nothing to do with this, but somebody going to end up losing their place of work. Um, in the mix of these entanglements. I don't know why, but I'm hearing this is just part of karma. This is part of, of the lessons that they need to learn, Leo. Let's keep it moving. Because I, I strongly feel that y'all, somebody is holding on to this person because of they're struggling. I don't even know. Like I said, some of y'all could be y'all. Or it could be the other person. But just know this person is laughing it's in your face, Leo. They a joker. They doing what makes them happy. And for real, for real they ain't even happy. Or you could just be shocked over the simple fact that they, you know, that they are okay with going back and forth. I feel like this is your energy where you could be very in a lot of like in a lot of shock about, you know, this person is okay with everything the way it's going. You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, maybe y'all got a child that's getting ready to be born. Or maybe you have a small child with this person and you're struggling at the same time. Some of y'all need a helping hand. If you got a kid with this person, you could be looking for some form of support from this person. And maybe they, they barely give you the support. Maybe they do give you the support. I'm seeing both energies. Y'all take what resonates. But maybe they do give you the support for a little bit and then they stop because they end up losing their job. I'm also getting that energy. But this person's struggling right now. They If they're not, they're, they will be. Especially if you are struggling right now, they're going to be struggling too. Because I'm getting a start and stop energy. You know what I'm saying? 
playing games with you, they gonna mess around and lose their own stability. They better stop. But I can keep hearing that as part of a karmic lesson that they need to learn. We got to keep the faith. Maybe you're trying to pray your way out of a situation. Or you're trying to, oh, you're hoping that it'll get better. Some of y'all hoping that they will get better. Some of y'all hoping that things will change. Y'all got too much patience for this person. Uh-uh. Ooh, child. Y'all got too much patience for this person. I'm just hearing that you hope this person will get it together. Dark night of the soul. But they keep leaving you like this. Out in the cold. Out in the cold. Yeah, because they have somebody else. They secretly have somebody else or other people. That's why they go. This person, this is a repetitive cycle. This person going to continue to to um put you through, Leo. This person going to continue to put you in this karmic entanglement, Leo. Or cross watcher. Because some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. But they going to always have somebody else. Yeah, because and for real, for real, they be sabotaging themselves. Did not say that. This person is their own worst enemy. Like, no matter who they deal with, no matter the situation they may be in, no matter how many kids they got, they still caught up in karma. This person has karma on them. That's why they always feel like they need to have backup. That's why they always feel like they need to have this chick, that chick over there, that chick across town. You know what I'm saying? Because they know that they are bound to be Mr. Effa. You see what I'm saying? This person knows that they are the, the, the reason why things fall apart so fast. They know that they are walking karma. They destroy their own self, their own relationship, even the people that they have in the background in secret, right? They, they, they getting it just as well as you. So if you feel like you're struggling because of this person, just know that the other people that they're dealing with is struggling too. And they can't stand their tail too. You may not, you may, you're not the only one that feel this way. If you 